Relish your health. Welcome to Food 411 for One Two, the cooking show for people who live alone in cramped apartments. We don't usually talk about cooking for other people or even eating with other people, but Thanksgiving is coming and it can't be avoided. All those germy relatives, especially the toddlers who are always full of mucus. You could use hand sanitizer, but for some reason their parents seem to take it personally when you do. But there is a solution that uses ordinary food ingredients. It's a powerful disinfectant disguised as a festive pink relish. The New York Times first published this cleansing condiment in 1959, and every year on NPR, Susan Stamberg reads the instructions. Today, I'm joining their efforts to relish your health by showing you how to make it and explaining why it works from a biological and culinary perspective. The biological secret is a combination of cranberries and horseradish. I know it sounds gross, but cranberries contain proanthocyanidins that repel bacteria. And horseradish has antibiotics and the antimicrobial agent allyl isothiocyanate. It's also got sinigrin, a powerful diuretic. Diuretic is the medical term for it makes you pee. Together, these powerful drugs repel and expel all bacteria from your body. The pungent taste of these compounds repulses critters who might eat the plants while they're growing. They also repulse humans. So to make this concoction somewhat palatable, and this is the culinary secret, we turn to the essential ingredients of Midwestern chip dips, sour cream, onion, and sugar. Just put two cups of cranberries, two tablespoons of horseradish, one small raw onion, half a cup of sugar, and three quarters of a cup of sour cream into your food processor. Run it for about 20 seconds, then keep pulsing it until it's chunky. Put it in a plastic storage container and then freeze it overnight. Why? Well, even with all the sugar and sour cream, this is still not edible, not even to Midwesterners. We need to serve it ice cold because frozen taste buds are less sensitive to the unpleasant chemicals. Just be sure you let it thaw for a few hours before serving because otherwise you'll have a giant bitter ice cube. This is what it looks like when it's done. Don't think of it as food, think of it as medicine. But act like you enjoy it because you need enough other guests to consume it in order to achieve what epidemiologists call herd immunity. If you have to, say it's a tradition started by a beloved but deceased relative. Next time on Food 411 for One, reheating Thanksgiving leftovers. I'll see you then.